Hi church family. I just wanted to pop into our Friday newsletter and just to share a little bit of something that we have that for this week of prayer and fasting. Uh, I know you've probably been watching a lot of videos this week with the prayer prompts, so thank you for tuning into one more video. Sunday evening, we were able to have a prayer evening with Jeremy Kinnenberg as he shared a little bit on, on prayer, uh, on revival, and, and just led us through some prayer points there that evening, some prayer space that we got to have with each other. And one of the really neat things that we got to do was we got to share with those in our group something that God has done in our life. And what we were able to pass out is a little piece of paper, just like this. And it says, what have you witnessed God doing in this past season? And then at the bottom, it says, thank you, God, for, and it just allowed for some space for people to share what they were thankful for God for. There was no name attached. There was no knowing who wrote these things, but we got a stack of them. And we're going to be able to put them on one of the bulletin boards at the in the sanctuary that you'll be able to read on Sunday morning. You'll get, be able to share and and hopefully rejoice with these people who are seeing what God has done and sharing it and not holding it back. And with this, I think of this week of prayer and fasting that I can't imagine how many of us are, are holding something like that. We're holding a testimony. We're holding something that we've witnessed God doing and maybe it's time to share that. So we're going to have these available on Sunday morning. The ushers will pass them out as you come into the sanctuary. And we would love, my dream, if you want to know my dream, is to cover the back wall with these. But I would love to have as many as possible uh, just, just shared and filled out. And then we can post them on the back bulletin board. Because wouldn't it be neat to be able to just come in each week and see, oh, maybe there's something new there that God has been doing and that somebody was sharing. Because, you know, it's so important for us to not keep quiet when God works in our lives. And I think often when in regards to sharing what God has done, I think of the woman at the well and the, the rejoicing that she had at meeting Jesus and realizing who he was, realizing what he was there for, what he had done for her, even in just in knowing her and what he did in her life. She ran back to her town and spread the word. She testified so loudly for anybody who would hear, come see a man who has told me everything I've ever done. She invited those people to know Jesus. But she did that through her own testimony. And so I'm wondering today, if even through this week of prayer and fasting or whatever a season means to you, maybe it's been a year, maybe it's been five years, maybe it's been the last month, whatever your season length is, what have you witnessed God doing? And so I would invite you over the next couple of days just to think about that, hold that, maybe, maybe reflect on it, if you will, and come Sunday morning prepared to write something down on this paper. Be prepared to fill it out. And again, it's anonymous. Nobody will know who it is. And we would just love to be able to share with each other in this way what God has been doing. Because we all need each other. We need to hear each other's stories. And what happens to you, what God does in your life, spurs my faith on and vice versa. We need to help those around us because we have been called to, to share what God has done for us. So this is my invitation to you. It's my prep time for you, like invitation to prep for this for Sunday morning. And I just can't wait to see what God has done. So we'll see you Sunday morning. Bye.